Hey there, math fans. I'm Dr. Andy Loveless. I make a lot of videos to help students with math at the University of Washington. This is not going to be one of them. <laughs> this is going to be about something growing up my dad always did. He said, put your hands side by side, and instead of making them spin the same way, make them spin the opposite way. <laughs> so when one goes forward, the other goes back. Oh, yeah. It's not easy to do. It's kind of like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. <laughs> Or I saw online someone that said, have one thumb be up, one finger be pulled out, and go thumb down, finger over, finger in, and then repeat. And they said most people can't do that. Um, I've had a lot of practice. Um, this came up because I was talking to a friend about serving a tennis ball. They were having trouble with that because when they would toss the ball, it affected their other arm. And I was like, you need to work on this. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> this is called bimanual interference i looked up you have to like learn this when you play the piano or when you learn to type uh, so it's a big thing but it just got me thinking about circular motion um, and also many years ago the power went out in one of my classrooms and we had to wait about 10 minutes for the system to reboot so i had 200 students looking at me and i was like all right everybody stand up here we go everyone spin like this <laughs> it was the best day <laughs> Okay, so here we go. This is them spinning, the both spinning one way. Now, if you take my pre-calculus class, you'll know how to do circular motion. And you can make it go faster, you can make it go slower, you can have it start in different places. In this quarter, I'm going to show students how you can even make that animation. So, very valuable in that way. You'd have to take the Calculus 3 class to learn about those, what we call tangent vectors, but that's not hard to get those either. Um... And this is a free online, anybody can use calculator. You can have them both go backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best dancing I do. But what if you want to go opposite? If you are having them lined up, they're going to run into each other. You know, they're on this same circular path. They're going to run into each other if they're lined up. So I got to pull them apart a little bit. And luckily I made it so I can do that. So let's pull them apart. There we go. I love this calculator. I can just manipulate things. Okay, so now I want them to go opposite ways. So let's restart. I'll show you that one. Computer has no problem with this. It's going opposite ways. One's going forward, one's going back. I put the tangent vectors there so you could see it. Big notice I had to pull apart. <laughs> Watch my full video if you want to see something about circular motion. If you need a party trick, show your friends that. Maybe you can come up with a new way to do this. I thought of doing a fist side by side. <laughs> well, it's like the most unusual person trying to start a fight. All right, thanks for listening.